welcome back to my channel and today I've got some exciting news. Okay, so if you guys have watched my and where I've been video, um, I mentioned there was some exciting things that I was hoping were gonna happen. I don't know what I'm gonna call this video, but as you guys probably guessed by the title, I have got a kitten and it's a girl. She is called Salem, which I think means peace in Hebrew. And she is so pretty and gorgeous and she's perfect. She's literally the perfect kitten. So I'm gonna talk a bit about how I ended up getting a kitten, what happened, and then I'm gonna be showing you her. And then I am gonna be showing you like all her favorite bits. So a little bit of a kitten haul. She is 12 weeks now and she is absolutely stunning her mum was half Siamese and half Bengal and her dad was a tabby and she's so pretty so she's got really nice markings from being Bengal and then her is a massive <laughs> with such a tiny face from being Siamese so how we ended up getting her I've really wanted a kitten for a while now um, and I really wanted to adopt. I looked on a lot of um, adoption websites, but also I was looking and I still hadn't persuaded my mum yet. And it was just all a bit like, oh. So what happened was my mum's friend, um, my mum saw on Twitter that her cat had a litter of, I think six kittens and Salem was one of them. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh, I really, really want one. So my mum asked her and she said that she was only giving them away in pairs. Now, after a while, she said that I could actually have one. So I went to um, their house and saw them all. They were all gorgeous. Um, some of them had like ginger and black and white spots and um, with like some gray in them. They were all so beautiful. But um, Salem stood out to me because, sorry, she's just messing around on the floor right now. She's making me laugh. Um, because as soon as I sat down, I picked her up and she just stared at me and then I sat on the sofa and she came and sat on my lap. She curled up and fell asleep. Now, Salem is like the best of both worlds. When she's playful, she is playful. She will play for hours on end. She'll run around like a crazy woman. Um, but when she's tired, she rarely sits anywhere but on you. Um, she loves sleeping on people. She is such a lap cat. She would just come, sit on your lap and purr and fall asleep. She'll actually sleep on my back. It's so cute. I love her so much. I'm just gonna go and get her because you guys are probably waiting to see her. <laughs> she is purring right now. Wait, say hello to the camera. Say hello to the camera. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, she's absolutely beautiful. She's in a playful mood right now. We've had her for about a week now, so we got her on Sunday. Um, her birthday is June the 15th. So now I'm going to get into the whole portion of this video. We didn't get too much because we didn't realise we were getting a kitten so we didn't have much time to prepare because um, on Sunday it was, um, my mum got a text saying if we would like a kitten we can go get one. Okay, so the first thing we got her were these. Most of the things that we got her were from Quality Save, B&M and Pets at Home. So these little mice. Um, we just have a green one and a blue one. So the next thing that we got her were a collection of jingle balls. Um, there's some more around my room actually. Again, she's not really too fussed with these. Unless she's really playful, she will like have a bit of a kick about. The next thing we got her were these. I've got um, another one. It was literally just a little ball with like tinsel bits. She actually loves these. She will run around my room, kicking this around everywhere. The next thing I got her was this, and it's just a little catnip fish. Um, she's not too fussed about catnip. I don't know if it's because, I know when they're kittens, they can't smell it. So I don't know if she's at the stage where she can't actually smell it or what, but she doesn't really care for catnip that much, do you, boo-boo, hmm? And then we've just got this, and now this was from the place that we got her from. It has her um, brothers and sisters smell on it, so this will just help her settle in properly. The next thing, oh, she can hear it, she absolutely loves this toy, is um, this, and it's a little mouse with 
um, a feathery tail, a little stick, and whenever you move it, it makes a noise. <laughs> now, she's currently looking up at me. Um, now, I actually have to hide this from her um, in the night. <laughs> she will go crazy for this toy. She absolutely loves it. This was from B&M. The next thing I have is this. It's just a laser um, and in the shape of a mouse. And this was actually from um, Quality Save. And she's not really too fussed about this one. Well, she'll play with it, like she likes playing with it, but I don't think she really understands it. Now there's this one. My mum's friend actually gave us this. She actually prefers the plastic end to the fluffy end. But yeah, so I don't really know where this is from. I'm gonna be extremely quiet with this because this is her favorite toy and you're gonna see it and you're gonna be a bit confused <laughs> so this was from B&M Bargains oh so you can hear it <laughs> this was from B&M Bargains for around I think it was £2.99 as you can see it's a little bell now this used to have feathers on it these are the remains of it so she pulled them all off, but she still absolutely adores this. <laughs> she adores this um, toy. And also, it extends massive. So I can play with her while like sitting on the sofa and watching YouTube videos. Um, so I don't actually have to get up, which is actually a pretty big bonus. Um, also, she loves Bosa. We got her a cat scratch. It's just like a small cheap one from Quality Save. Um, and it's just got a paw on it like this. It's just your average cat scratcher, um, as you can see. She has actually like never used it. I might get her like invest maybe for her birthday or something um, in a massive cat scratcher. And today she actually went to the vets. <laughs> You boo -boo. But we have got a cat carrier, it's just a boring one, I'm not going to show it because it's massive and it's just um, a foldable one so I don't like the caged looking ones because they're quite like prison like and I don't know I'm just not a fan of them. Got her this, um, she hasn't had a chance to use it yet and it's actually just like a cat scratcher but cardboard one and this was £3.99, it came with a bit of um, catnip but again she's not really interested in catnip. Now. We got her a bed from Quality Save. It was only about um, £2.99 um, and it's just this light blue polka dot one and it's a really nice bed actually. Um, it's really furry, it's grey inside because it matches the aesthetic of my room and then it's just got a waterproof bottom so if she does any accidents or anything we will be fine. Luckily she is fully litter trained, she hasn't had any problems with her litter train have you she doesn't actually sleep in it she sleeps on my bed um yeah she sleeps on my bed at night she curls up in a little ball um under my arm and she's so freaking cute and she just sits there and purrs so now i'm gonna move on to food and treats i'm not gonna show you her bowls they're just standard stainless steel bowls from quality save if you're gonna get any bowls i do suggest stainless steel not aluminium because that can be really bad for them and not plastic because plastic can like hold um a lot of bacteria within it so i just got her stainless steel ones and just a standard litter tray this is her food we've got a bigger bag um what are you doing <laughs> we've got a bigger bag um <clears throat> oh she thinks she's gonna be Right, right, I'll give you a little bit. So this is just Wayne Wright's Perfect for Cats. Um, and this is Kitten 1 to 12 months. We had to wean her off Royal Cannon. It had like maizen and um, grain and cats aren't really supposed to have grain. It's not too good for them. So we've just got this and this is... Um, Oh, she's licking my, she's licking my fingers because it smells like food. This is the turkey one, and the ingredients are so much better than um, this. They're all natural. <laughs> I don't give her wet food because they don't need wet food. I just put a lot of water um, in her. <laughs> I just put a lot of water um, 
in her little bowl with the wet food so she is easy to eat and also she gets that water intake. I'm going on to treats. She's already had four today because she's just been to the vets and I felt really bad for her because she was like really annoyed with me. <laughs> you didn't make it there, did you boo boo? No, you didn't. Um, so this is these um, True Instinct and these are t chicken treats chicken treats and we also picked up the fish ones these are just freeze-dried chicken treats and these are so good they're so natural and these are just free-range chicken um no artificial colors flavors and preservatives so that is everything um i have to show you and i hope you love her as much as i love her she's so gorgeous let me just show you the view right now She's so precious. I love her so much. So I'm probably just gonna do a load of cute overlay clips of her playing. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a giant thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.